Hammett and Edna were both very unassuming individuals. Their focus was on their faith, their family, and their community. And I think that John and Bob have that same focus. Well, Emmett and Edna had three children. The oldest was their daughter Anne, um, and then John, and then Bob. The family lived what was then called the Flats, now part of Suncrest. They had a uh, farmhouse with a horse and dogs, and it certainly wasn't the center of town at that time. I think John and Bob are best friends, not only working partners, but best friends. And and they just happen to be brothers. It'd be hard to find one without the other, both nine to five, Monday through Friday. They also share a lot of um, similar interests. Every football game, John's picking me up, or he goes and picks up John. They walk up there together, sit in the same seats for years. I think their history is that they work together, they make decisions together, they forge a, a successful business, and they're still working every day, just about any day that the glass factory's open, and John and Bob will be there. There was several glass factories in Morgantown during the time the, between 1940 and, I guess, 1980s. Davis Lynch's specialty was hand-blown glass globes for a lot of lighting fixtures, sconces, street lights. Emmett and a partner, Mr. Davis, started the Davis Lynch Glass Factory in 1943. They uh, operated it for a couple decades, and in 1967, Emmett and Edna took over full ownership of it. Mr. Emmett Lynch was a gentleman, good man. And I stayed here quite all that time because I enjoyed working here. So uh, that tells you something right there. He would go into the factory every day. John and Bob would be there. And then the three of them would work side by side, making sure that Davis Lynch Glass Factory was successful. And it has been. At one time, we had 350 to 360 people working here. And uh, it had up to, like they call, 15 blow shops. And a great amount of glass went out of here. And they're the only operating glass factory left. That's 75, 80, 80 years of history. Mr. Lynch, this is near and dear to his heart, and it stayed that way with Bob and John and their family. Their dedication just kept it going. So these guys looked to the future, made sure that they were capable of continuing that business. And, and even today, you have a, another generation of Lynches coming up and working in the glass factory. Both of my brothers are now at the glass factory. Rob is in the office. My brother Scott is in the blow room as the foreman. It's her history, that's her legacy. That was Emmett's legacy. And if you look, all those folks that are working at the glass factory have been there for a long period of time. It says something about them as employers, doesn't it? If they tell you something, believe it. They mean what they say, and they keep their word. Well, they're honest, they have high integrity. If you get a handshake from those guys, you can literally go to the bank with it. They're unlikely developers when you think about their, their traits and their skill set. They're very cautious, conservative individuals. They both have lived here their whole lives. Their kids grew up here. Uh, most of their family still lives here. And so they take a very community-minded approach and a very measured approach to the development. Emmett Lynch was raised on a farm, so it's not surprising that he loved land. He didn't think that anybody could own enough land and purchased a lot of land around Morgantown, big tracks and small tracks. The land was all acquired by Ann, John, and Bob. And they all, all three were instrumental in the success of the, of the developments. A significant portion of John and Bob's time over the last 15 years has been spent on the University Town Center development. In the early 2000s, they had a vision. The family owned the property, basically where Sheets and McDonald's is today. And Consol Energy owned a much larger track adjacent to their property. It all started with Bojan down here in the bottom, where the Sheets and McDonald's. John and Bob took the initiative to reach out to Consol, a Fortune 500 company, and propose a, a joint venture between the family and Consol to develop both properties into a, a regional shopping center. When you looked at that site originally, you would think, how the heck are you going to put a development on top of that hill? And now, when you look at it, you say, my goodness, they did it. The center is very successful. It's got about 40% of the county's retail sales within it. Most importantly, it's been done in a way where um, all the parties are happy. This is one of our proud accomplishments. University Town Center and West Ridge Development overall are just a tremendous asset to the community. The amenities that have brought there from shopping to the theaters to the ballpark and then the new development that's happening on the west side of the development with new job creation up to 10,000 new jobs and close to a billion dollars in new investment.
just tremendous for our community. Quite frankly, I don't think any other developer could do what they've done inside the state. That land wouldn't have been developed without the interstate exchange, and I don't think anybody but the Lynches could have really meandered that through the legislature and gotten that. Earl L. Cor Award is the Chamber's top award given every year. This is given out to the best of the best, those that have spent their life trying to make the Morgantown community a better place. John and Bob are dedicated to our community. They love Morgantown, they love the university, they serve on many community boards. Uh, they've been called on and they've answered the call. I know that they are very proud of the growth and prosperity that Morgantown and the region has enjoyed and that they enjoy being a part and contributor to that. And I can attest that every day they work towards that end. When I look at John and Bob, I see Emmett Lynch. They have the same demeanor, they have the same skill set. Hats off to Emmett for creating such fine gentlemen. They're just great people. They just are. It all started at the top with Dad and Mom. A lot of times you, you can't pick of a father and mother, but uh, we were very fortunate. They were very instrumental in shaping us to, to what we are today. We're very thankful that we had them as parents. That's a, way, a good way to end the conversation right there. They, they were phenomenal.